Animals, it's your boy Hype bringing you another Destiny Weekly Nightfall Strike on the Animal Instincts Gaming Channel. And this is, blow and behold, the new strike. The Dark Below, Will of Crota. And as usual, we have Epic, Heavily Shielded and Heavily Aggressive. Nightfall, you die, you're done. Unless, of course, you're a Warlock, Self-Resurrection this week's damage of choice is Arc Burn. And we have Light Switch. Don't get knifed, bitch. <laughs> Angry minions to the darkness. They don't flinch no matter what the hell you hit them with. And I'm going to go in there with the Fate Bringer, Epitai. And don't ask me why, but the super good advice and some super good advice for you is dismantle that gun. Get rid of it if you have it. Um, I don't know why I went in there with it. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I did this on the regular strike before I went to run it solo and um, I seen that some of them had solar shields so I thought maybe it would help but I end up not really even using the thing it's a wash so don't even waste your time with that now normally on these strikes um, I try and run through them solo without dying <laughs> without having to use a self resurrection excuse me that did not happen at all <laughs> I went I went down quite a few times um, but what are you gonna do is the first run first solo run new strike um they're level 30 i'm level 30 so maybe once i get to level 32 or whatever the new cap is 33 and i have all the new weapons you know the higher damaged weapons then maybe i'll be able to do a little more damage other than that i was just the one getting all the damage done to me so right here in this first spot you see right here as I, I didn't even go through that doorway yet and you kind of really don't want to you want to bait them all in towards you and then you're going to want to sometimes when the uh, skanks come you want to haul ass all the way back down those steps that you just came up and even the uh thrall because if they knife you one time you're done you're going down so stay in this area just be cautious here come the skanks i'm hauling ass i don't want no herps I'm going. Get away from me, skanks. They'll chase after you. Uh, most of the other enemies, they will not. And even where I'm at right now, they will still come after you. Once you get like back towards the other steps, and look at that. Look how much damage they do. Once you get back in this area, this is when they'll start to back up. They'll start to retreat. So keep that in mind. You know, don't just run down those first flights of steps and thinking you're safe. You know, you got to come back further than that. Um... Herpes are very contagious, so you gotta keep a safe distance from them skanks. Anyways, this is pretty much this whole... How I approach this whole first little wave or area, whatever you want to call it, is um, basically the same thing. Whenever, and whenever anything came into that room, I would retreat all the way back here and try and hit them from a distance. So, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. You know, just so you ain't sitting here watching the same thing. And, and by the way, this strike, for me not knowing what was coming and what was coming ahead, um, took me over an hour to do. It took some time, man. So I'm going to speed most of this up. Um, it still is a pretty long video, so grab yourself a drink and something to eat. Whatever, little snack. Come on back. Anyways, moving on. You see, it's still the same thing here. I'm just being very cautious as I'm... Looking out the doorway, making sure that nothing's going to come running after me because uh, after you kill a certain amount of enemies in there, that's when the Thrall will spawn in. And I'm telling you, if you're ads and you don't see them, they will take you down. And that's another thing, too, that really came in handy on this strike was um, being able to hear things. So make sure either you have your headset on or your TV volume up, game volume up pretty well because um, sometimes, you know, you wouldn't be able to, if you're ads if you can't don't have the radar always on, um, you won't know if they're coming. See right there, turn, haul ass. As soon as you see like a, more than you can handle, don't even try and stand there and wore them out with them. Just, just run back, take them off from a distance, and then make your way back. And you'll see here, after you kill all them, then um, th there's these knights. And the knights, man, they did some serious damage. Two hits from them, and I was just about done. So three hits, I would have been done, or if I was slightly wounded from another bullet from another enemy or whatever. 
So that's the best advice I can give you for this portion right here is just to stick in this room and make sure you know your way back and just when you're running back and you have to back up, don't even look back. Just get all the way to that second flight of steps, then turn back because they'll be back and back up by then. But yeah, um, this strike, it was fun because it was new, but it was difficult. It definitely was probably, um, I would say thus far, the hardest strike I've done. And I mean, even when you first started out, when this game first started out, and uh, I think the first strike ever was Devil's Lair. I mean, it was, it was difficult because you didn't know what you were getting yourself into. You weren't really high level. Your weapons weren't leveled all the way up. And that's kind of the same boat that we're in now. You know, here comes this night watch. Look at that. Two shots and I'm just about done. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, you you know, nothing was really leveled up. And it's, and it's almost, it's the same thing again, you know. Level 30 is not i'm level 30 that's a max sniper rifle the fate bringer that's maxed out it's not what it was cracking what it used to be you know obviously yeah it still helps because it has the uh, arc damage but you know it, it's nothing like what it used to be anymore so it's going to take some time to get some new weapons and level up and also at the end like when i was doing this on um the regular just to strike on earth uh, makes you go in with a team, so I didn't really get to, you know, experiment and explore around too much. But I, I did come across the spot for the final boss, the uh, Willa Crota. And I tried doing that solo. And my first attempt, I ended up, I ended up getting hit and I had to use the self-resurrection. And then I was like, you know what? Which I'll, I will get to that when we get to that point, but right there boom that guy man shot the shit out of him and he still came and knifed me down i pointed at him let him know i was pretty angry about that but yeah um like i said we'll get to that when we get there but there's a spot that's pretty good definitely if you're with a team i think the hardest part i really didn't get to try it out solo like i said if you do the regular strike then it puts you with three people so I don't know if it would work out too good solo. If you guys get a chance to do that, let me know. But I'll show you the spot at the end. Now, right here on this spot, you want to keep your distance. You want to stay back here and snipe as many enemies as you can. Pretty much snipe them all. Don't go out there. If you go out there, you're going to get sniped. Then the skanks come in and the invisible fuckers. Um, and it's it's just a mess there's not i don't think there's really solo any chance of surviving out out there so you're just going to want to stay back in this area one by one taking out the enemy sniping them and i don't know when the, the skanks end up do coming in here and, and taking me out and i don't know when the hell you know where they came from or when they spawned in so just be real aware that um, stay back here and be ready for them. Um, if you want to hit them with something solar to knock their shields down, like I have the solar nade for an example, um, if you hit them with that and then like one shot with the fate bringer will probably take them out. You know, it's three shots because it's two to get their shield down and one shot to finish them off with the fate bringer. So if you can get that shield down, then it's one shot. Um, but like I said, I, I, it must have been ADS or something that enemy because they crept up on me and they come in with them damn samurai guys and they caught me off guard. I ran. I ended up jumping up onto this ledge, which you'll see here in a second. And uh, they had me pinned. I kind of got into a little bit of a panic. So here they come and I'm just backing up, shooting them. And right there, I was trying to get out the door. Um... I, was, I thought there I was going to go down. I'm like, oh, man. But right here, this actually ended up saving me from the samurai guys because I was up on the ledge. Now, that, that's one one advice I can give you for the any of the sword guys or the thralls. If you get up on something that they can't reach, you know, then you're safe. And I actually utilized that, that technique quite a bit. Now, there comes the second wave of skanks. And right there, it actually worked out good because I was behind that pillar. But then, them samurai guys come from the left and the right. So, I jumped back up there to take them out. And then, I think that's all that was it. It was two waves of them. So, after you're done that, then you can just focus on everything that's outside the door. 
Um, I thought there was still one more samurai guy left, which there was. That's why I was like looking around for him. And um, here I use the synthesis, and that's the only synthesis I used the entire game. So, like I said, here I'm still, there's still a lot of them out there, and they're snipers, and they're level 30, so they do some serious damage. And um, I think right here I actually go down too from this guy hiding behind the wall. I have to go out and I, I shoot him a couple times, and he took more bullets than what I could get, get, get into him at the time, man, and he took me down. But anyways, um, once you clear this area out, there's a sniper that's up on the freaking wall right above your head. So don't just rush out there and, you know, think you're clear because you're not right here. Oh, I, oh, man, that made me mad. And then sometimes even when you use your self-resurrection, they, um, they'll, they'll knife you again right as you, like, <laughs> right as you respawn and it's, it's game over, man. So... Self-resurrection isn't always the best bet, but, uh, you know, obviously I wouldn't have got it done without it. Not this time around anyway. But right here, I, I see him popping up on the radar, but I can't find him. And there he is. He's up there. So be aware of that guy. Be ready for him. And then uh, after you're done with all those guys that are out there, all that's left are these guys in the middle. And I don't think they... Uh, they come up at all they'll just stay down there in the middle so this part wasn't really too difficult to get through um once i clear out all the uh bigger guys i jump out up onto the platform in the middle to take out the samurai guys because they're over there i think there was like three of them that are invisible and i take them out without them being able to get to me so you know, that's definitely, definitely useful. Right here, I'm trying to bait them out because I know they're there. And then there's a few falling in there. Um, so, it, all you're going to want to do after you've done that, and you see here, I'm just looking for them invisible guys, trying to make sure that, you know, I'm not left unprotected. And that's why I'm standing up here. And then I actually end up jumping up on top of this little building right here and taking out the fallen the rest of the drag and uh, i think there's one more of those damn samurai guys there so i think there was three or four of them and then um you know at, at this point i wasn't sure if i was really going to make it through this or not solo i just figured what the hell why not give it a try i was actually going to do the weekly heroic first because you can do that solo and get a better feel for it but i'm like you know if i if i can make it through that then that means i would be able to pretty much make it through this and i'd rather Instead of doing them both, at least just get this one done and then get the bonus everything for everything else. Whatever. Um, so that part right there, if you couldn't tell, you can just run right through until you get to this next spot where you got to open up the door. Then once you open up this door, this is almost it. You're at the Will of Crota. And what I do right here is I just shoot her a couple times. And you'll hear her, that's why I'm saying it's kind of important. You hear that scream going on right there. When you hear that scream, she's like spawning in, you know, calling in her buddies. So you want to back up. You want to be prepared for whatever the hell is going to come. And everything kind of like has a certain point to where if you back up far enough, it's going to it's gonna back up instead of keep coming after you. So make sure you always have, you know, a way out an escape route you know and uh try and make sure that there's nothing like a crate or whatever blocking you because you can get hung up on stuff and that could be a wrap so that's all this part really is and i'm going to speed it up here um you kind of got to chase her down a little bit and shoot her a couple times and then she'll scream and more stuff comes after you and then um that leads up to the final room where you got a fighter and that's where shit got a little bit interesting and actually also where i was there for a long period of time so right here i'm just playing back um killing everything from a distance and that's basically with any strike man everything's so powerful and it takes a lot of damage to kill and right there i'm shooting her and then she screams and i back up and wait for the enemies to spawn in but yeah, like I said, with any strike, you know, you pretty much want to have a way out and keep distance. 
you know, because everything is so damn powerful. Now, this ogre right here, this was nice. He just stayed right there the whole time and just willingly let me shoot him. Um, so he wasn't an issue. Main thing here that was an issue. See that, how I backed up and then he backed up once I got to a certain point. So always keep that in mind and know where that, that spot's at, you know. And um, the wizards were really, really tough in this strike. And that, that's mainly because, you know, they had the solar shield. But then if you use the solar weapon the whole way through, you know, it would take forever to kill them anyway because once that shield's down, it's basically like they have a uh, void shield after that. Um, so, yeah, that's all that this part is right here. And I'm just slowly, slowly progressing and just being cautious. And that's really the best advice I could give you for this strike, especially if you're doing it solo. You don't want to get this far. Uh, the rest of the stuff, I think if I did this strike again, I could probably shed at least 15 minutes off of it. That's just because I know what I'm doing now, so it would probably still take me about 40, 45 minutes, which that's still a decent amount of time. So, you know, you get this far... You don't want to die, man. You don't want to die because most likely, you know, you're not going to start over at that point. You're going to be pretty frustrated and just need to take a break. And that's kind of what happened here at the end because I had this spot that I wanted to try out solo. And once I got there, I felt like, you know, it's a little bit too risky. So this is like the final area right here. And actually, right where I'm at is how I end up completing it. You know, it's not how I want it to originally, but it's just the way it worked out. Um, I'm going to keep this going, keep it sped up for the most part um, until the end, like the last the last wave. And I'll kind of so you can get a little better idea and slower normal normal speed right here is the spot where I jump up. And if you jump up and go left, right. And you, you're kind of safe back there and you can get this little line of sight to her um, Well, it was like that anyway with three players But I used my self-resurrection which knocked me right off the edge And then when I was trying to jump back up there, I kept getting jumping into poison So I couldn't I was like screw it. You know what? I almost died I said I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna try a different approach here and um, it actually worked so you know, if you want to go with this kind of sure thing, what you actually see works, then I would just stick with this this approach right here. And all I'm doing is taking out all the other enemies first. You know, don't even worry about Will Crota yet. Take out all the other enemies, and then once they're all done and it's just you and her, you're going to come out, you're going to get a couple shots off, as many as you can, and then as soon as she starts shooting, just back up. And you kind of, you, your best bet is just to wait until she stops shooting, you know, because there's so much damage. Like, even right now, she's shooting to the right. If I go out to the left, she'll turn to me right away and start shooting me. So, if you let her completely stop shooting, you'll actually have, you know, a moment in time to where you can, you can go out there and you can get, like, you know, four good sniper headshots, which do a lot of damage with the sniper. And that, that's kind of what I figured out as I was going along. So I think if I were to redo this again, I would be able to do this um, final part a little bit faster. You know, I think I would definitely be able to shed some time off of this, even though it would still be a pain in the ass and it would still be time consuming, you know. Uh, but I do definitely want to try out that spot that I showed you. And I'll show you better at the end if you want to wait all the way around to the end. And uh, take a look at what I got as a reward. And also, um, I'll show you that spot. There's two spots. There's one on the left and one on the right. So if you're there with twos or even threes, you can have guys on each side. And it's kind of going to be keeping the enemies a little... Um, disoriented they ain't gonna know which side to go to and um it's definitely it'll be a sure thing i already i had no issues doing it when i was up there with uh two other players but they weren't you know they were randoms they were down low so i don't know if that you know most of the enemies were paying paying most of their attention to them and that's why i wasn't getting hit hit as much i was at times but it wasn't nothing to really worry about and i was just non-stop shooting out uh, will crota so 
Yeah, this spot right here is kind of important with, with the sound, like I was saying. Because as I'm doing this, um, after each wave and you shoot her a couple times, after you kill all the enemies, after you take an X amount of her health down, she's going to scream. And then that means more enemies are going to come in and you want to back up. You want to back up and take out all those enemies, which I'll show you that on like the final wave. I'll slow it down in real time. And um, also, there's times in between where, what the hell are those things called? I forget what they're called, man. The freaking thrall, the ones that, um, <laughs> the ones that kamikaze. They, they spawn in the suicidal bombers. They spawn in behind you. And, you know, if you're ADS or whatever the case may be, you may not, you may not be able to see them on your radar. So, hearing them was actually the way that saved my ass a couple of times. Because if, if they blow up, you're done. You know, it's game over. And it, you, there's a couple times here that I had to use my self-resurrection. And I actually had to earn it back. You know what I mean? And um, they actually help with that. Because you get a little bit more, um, we'll call it super juice. You get a little more super juice when you kill enemies. So they helped out with that. So that's just one thing, man. Like I said, make sure you got your TV, TV volume up, game volume up, or your headsets on, and um, just listen, because you'll you'll see coming up here when um, when I'm shooting her right there. I heard them, so I jumped up in the air in case they did blow up, and then. Backed up, got away, and then make sure they're all dead. Slowly check the radar and make sure there's nothing else there. This was um, a long and grueling process right here, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to try and sugarcoat it. I really, especially because it was the first time around, you know, it was the first time doing this. And as you go, you know, you start to learn. So towards the end, things got a little bit, uh, I'll say, a little bit smoother but you know at the end of the day i got it done man and it, you know not gonna lie i really didn't i really didn't know going into this if i would but did it was fun and um you know i guess now it's back to the good old grind days man of doing bounties and everything trying to level everything up and get new new weapons and because everything changed and i'm going to make a video about that um you know if you guys don't know what i mean and i'm not exactly sure because i have the expansion if everything changed for everyone you know what i mean like i'm sure probably if you don't have the expansion you're still doing um what was the strike this week i believe mars should have been the mars strike um and also, you know, now all the legendary, everything legendary is higher than what the exotic stuff used to be before. So it's like basically everything I have now is out of date, man. But I'm going to do another video about that anyway. So back on to this. I mean, I really don't have much to talk about at the current moment because this is basically the same thing. I'm just um, the hardest part here was the wizards. The one wizard actually chases me down and gets me and it kind of pissed me off but see right there i was trying to nade them to take their shields off and then finish them off with the fate bringer um but at this point i mean we're getting pretty close and you know what i'm just going to be quiet for a minute i'm gonna let this part play out if you want to fast forward i don't know about five minutes or whatever and i'll be back i'm gonna bring the music volume up i'm gonna shut up and i'll be back towards the end
All right, so as you can see right there, she's just about dead, and you heard a scream. So that's why I'm running, but we're back. I'm back. I'm going to walk you through this end part right here, even though there's still a little bit of time left, because everything just, there's a lot of enemies. You know, I, I almost wanted to just go out there, get those last two shots in, and be done with it, but you know, you know how things go in the life of destiny, man. You know, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to gamble, I didn't want to risk it, I just wanted to um, at least clear out as many of these enemies as I could. So, I shot her a few times, you heard her scream, I run back and I jump up on this ledge right here, and I kind of figured this out as I was going along, and here, you can kind of duck down to where you really can't get hit, and then the thrall and everything, you don't have to worry about them, and see right there, I can still kind of shoot that knight. So it's a good spot to kind of take out a lot of the initial enemies. See, see the thrall right there? What are they doing down there? They ain't doing nothing. Um, so I found this spot to be very, very useful. You know what I mean? And then, and then from here, it's just a matter of, you know, the same thing. If you notice when the video was playing out, it, it's just one by one taking these enemies out. Not letting them really try not to get hit at all. That's the main thing because everything does so much damn damage that a couple of shots, you know, right here I, I jump back down and I, I'm, you see how I'm keeping myself in case they come rushing at me. Anything that I'm not prepared for, I can run. That knight right there, every time she screams like every wave, he just stands there and you can shoot him in the kneecap, take him out. Now I think at this point... Um, there's a few more enemies, and I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna bother killing everything. I, there's probably still wizards out there, and I really didn't want to mess with the wizards. I knew that a couple more shots, and Crota was done. It was Crota's quota. Done. Um, so, you see right there, there's still, there was still a little bit more stuff than I was expecting. So just, you know, don't get don't get anxious, don't get over antsy, man. Just time. Just be patient and you'll get through this. If I did it, you can. You know what I mean? But coming up here after I kill her, I'm going to jump up and you'll be able to see the spots cuz it was a little chaotic when it when I when I tried showing it in the beginning of the uh, Beginning of this part, you know, and um, so I'll show it again. And right here, it's like, damn, see that? I almost went down, and I only got to get one freaking bullet into Crota, but that ain't gonna stop me. You done? You going down? She knows it. Give me my flaming head and my reward. That's what I'm thinking at this time. It's game. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. See, look at all those wizards out there. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not going to fight them at this point. But prior to that, you know, every round, yeah, you definitely want to fight them. Clear them out. Clear everything out before you even worry about Crota. Um, because if not, if you get hit by that knight and you get hit by the Crota at the same time, it's you're, it's not going to have a good outcome. And right there, I was looking for that knight, and he actually kind of dipped back, and this is where I say, you know, game over. And there it is. Boom! There it is. I was pretty excited, man. That was a long, long run. But right here is the spot. If you jump up on this platform and jump up to the right, you can come right behind there, and not too much can hit you. And then look right through here. This is where Crota's is at majority of the time. And the same thing on the opposite side as well. So you can have, if you have a team of two or a team of three guys on each side, man, and just nonstop doing damage. But that's going to about wrap it up for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, please hit the thumbs up button or if you find this video helpful in any kind of way. Also, in the comments section below, let me know what you got, man. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Got plenty of videos coming your way. Animals, it's your boy Hype. We out.